Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I am going to talk to you about cheating um, in computer science classes. Right? So, cheating in computer science classes. Right? Just a couple of things um, that uh, it appears to me, uh, or that seems to me, make that a really stupid thing to do. Right? If you're if you're cheating your computer science classes, if you're taking your computer science major, you're dumb as hell. <laughs> And I'll, and I'll tell you why, okay? Um, the, hop on, hop on YouTube, right? You're on YouTube right now, okay? Hop on YouTube and Google, Google programming interviews questions or, or uh, you know, Google puts out videos of their sample uh, interviews that they have with people, right? And um, what's going to happen is, you know, the, the, you know the, you have this entire interview process that you go through. And uh, at one time with them, the way they did it was, you know, the first thing they would send you would be um, a personality test. You'd have to, you, you take a personality test, right? They'd, they'd want to see what kind of human being you are, right? Because... You know, quality human beings can be trained. You know, they can be uh, integrated into the corporate culture, and um, they want to know if you're a good teammate, right? If you're if you're a decent person, because you can work with this decent people. You know, ninety percent of terminations happen because someone's a butthole, and um, you know, or they were dishonest, or they had character flaws, or whatever. Um, but you do that. And then uh, they might send you a take-home coding test, right? I mean, some interviews I've had that happen where you know they they, they have to give you a coding test, you know, just just to, just to see if you're basically competent at all, right? But anyway, at some point in the interview process, you're gonna have to go in person. You're gonna have to go in person, and there's gonna be you know a group of people that uh, are gonna be on your team. That you're going to be working with, and you're going to be sitting at a table. You're going to be in a room, and this is what I was saying uh, at the beginning. You know, Google the uh, Google interview examples. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about, and you're going to be there in front of ten people or whatever, however many people are on the team, part of the interview team, part of the team you'll be assigned to, and uh, they're going to ask you to solve a problem. And they're going to say, "All right, well, here's uh, we want you to." You know, come up with a solution to the FizzBuzz problem, or we want you to do something with a data structure, or we want you to do whatever, right? Um, and they're gonna say, all right, uh, cool. And um, there's a whiteboard, and here's a pen. Go ahead and discuss your solution and write some code for us. Go for it. You know, and then you'll be able to ask a couple questions, you know, get clarification, the requirements of the problem, whatever. And uh, they'll ask you questions as you're going through and doing it. Um, now, you might have been able to cheat on that personality test. You might have been able to get somebody to help you with that, uh, those, those take-home coding questions. But when you got that pen in your hand and you've got that whiteboard, and it's time to start writing code on the board and explaining what you're doing and why. You ain't cheating your way out of that. Hey, those people that are interviewing you, you know, the professionals who've been doing this job for 10 years, they're gonna know, <laughs> they're gonna know in about 10 minutes that you don't know anything, right? So all that cheating you did to get your degree, congratulations, it's worthless. You know, and the only questions you're going to be asking your clients are, do you want fries with that? Because right, you cheated your way to get to that degree, and it's and it's it's worthless. You, everybody who asks you any questions in an interview is going to know in about five minutes that you didn't do anything. And guess what? That 4.0 GPA that you have, worthless, worthless. So enjoy your student debt, enjoy your worthless degree, and um, congrats, you just wasted four years of your life cheating for a computer science degree is the dumbest freaking thing you can possibly do because 
you know, by the time you're done getting your computer, computer science degree, you know how to solve problems and you know the basics of how to figure stuff out or you don't. You can't cheat your way through that. You can't fake it in an interview. You can't bullshit your way through that. You just can't. And um, here's another thing, a couple other things that I want to say about that. You know, just random thoughts, you know, random rambles. Just whatever comes into my head, I'm going to tell you about it. I have a general idea of what I want to talk about and then I'm just going to ramble about it. Um, the other thing, the thing that happens then is that, uh, you know, you get students, they do like reviews on schools or you don't rate my professor, they do ratings on professors. You can rate the school itself, whatever. They go tell their friends, oh, that school sucked. You know, CSUEB sucked. I didn't learn anything at that school. You know, my degree's worthless. I can't get a job. No, you're worthless. <laughs> you didn't learn anything. Right? It's not that we didn't teach you. It's not that we didn't give you a quality education or give you the opportunity to get a quality education. You cheese your way through everything. You didn't learn a damn thing. You know, and so then you're surprised that your degree is not worth anything. You're surprised. You're shocked that your 4.0 doesn't get you a hundred thousand dollar a year job. You didn't put in the work. You didn't learn anything. And so then you want to blame everybody else but yourself. You don't want to take responsibility for your own failure. You're going to blame everybody else because you're stuck, stuck you know, working at McDonald's or whatever. Like, oh boy, I spent tens of thousands of dollars to go to you know, whatever school and it didn't get me anything. It was a waste of time. My education was a waste of time, blah, blah, blah. Going to college is a waste of time. It's you, man. <laughs> you got to take a look in the mirror. Um, it's that's on you. Uh, because I know, I mean, I, I, I teach at the university I graduated from. I put the work in and uh, I work. Um, if you're a quality human being, you're gonna and you put the work in, you're gonna your, your degree is gonna be as worth as much as you put into it. So that's another thing. You know, you got no one to blame but yourself. Third thing: um, cheaters, people who cheat, especially at a computer science degree, dumb as hell. Um, but another thing is is that. Um, You know, if it, if, it, if it just impacted you, um, you know, if it was just you who was wasting your time and wasting, wasting four years of your life and pissing away, you know, thousands of dollars or whatnot, fine, whatever, who cares, that's on you. You want to you do that? Knock yourself out. Um, but what, what annoys me about that, other than you're being an idiot and the fact that you won't take responsibility for your own life and all that other stuff, is the fact that people who cheat like that, you go to that interview, you know, you're not just hurting, you hear this all the time, you're only hurting yourself, that's not true. You know, you're hurting other people too, you're, you're hurting the reputation of our program, right? So you cheat your ass off to get through and get your degree and then you go, and you go interview a half dozen times. Don't get a job, obviously, because you don't know anything. And um, pretty soon, you know, there's applications from your classmates, you know, they, your classmates are trying to get interviews at those institutions or at those uh, organizations. And uh, pretty soon they start seeing, you know, resumes and they start seeing, um, you know, that that uh, university that you went to, you know, CSU, EBS, where I, where I work. See that in the uh, applicant's education history. And after the, that organization has interviewed enough um, people who cheated to get their degrees, you know, whose degrees aren't worth the paper they're printed on because the person didn't put the work in, they actually didn't learn anything because they didn't actually do anything. All they did was cheat their entire way, cheat on tests, you know, homework assignments, copying stuff off a of stack overflow, paying people to do their work for them, all that kind of stuff. After that organization interviews a certain number of graduates, um, like that from the institution. They're not going to be interviewing those people anymore from that institution. They're going to think that up. They just, everybody there just cheats to get their degrees and nobody from that institution knows what they're doing. You know, you get enough people uh, that interview who are like that, pretty soon the actual people who work at students, who actually were hard workers, who actually put the time in, took responsibility for themselves, invested in themselves, you know, did everything right, they can't get interviews anymore because you, idiot, moron, who cheated their way to get their degree, um, killed the re reputation of the university. 
So you heard our program, you heard yourself, you heard the other people at the university who are going through our program. You're just, <laughs> you're, you're, you're a piss poor example of a human being. I mean, that's just, there's nothing, there's no other way to say it. There's nothing else to say about it. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's one thing if, you know, you're just that one test, you know, or it's just that, that one, that one programming assignment, you know, and that you kind of fudged on a little bit, you know, there's, you know, probably everybody's done that fine, but I mean, I got, we got people, seniors, man, they come, they don't know anything about what they're doing. And it's just, what have you been doing for the last three years, man? Um, so it's just something to think about, you know, if you're a computer science major and you're just consistently cheating uh, through your degree, you know, through your classes to try to get your degree, you're eventually gonna, even if you pull off graduating, even if you do it well enough to graduate, you're not gonna fool the people you're interviewing with. You know, you might get past the HR person, you know, first couple of initial gatekeepers through the process, but once you gotta sit down and they hand you that pen and you're staring at that whiteboard and you're like, hey, can I use Google? They're like, no, what are you talking about? You could use Google, no. Um, you're not gonna be able to Google how to think, you know, you're not gonna be able to Google solutions on the fly anyway to uh, those problems. You gotta be able to show that you can reason, that you can think, that you understand how to use logic to solve certain problems. You don't have to be perfect in those interviews. You don't have to remember every single little syntactical thing. I mean, you, cause you do look that up. I mean, a huge part of your job is spent on Google looking stuff up, but what you're looking up is, oh, what was the syntax of that one um, statement? Or what was um, that one library? Oh man, I can't remember. What was the name of that method for vector? Was it push back? Was it add? I can't remember. I've been programming in three or four different languages the last three weeks. Oh man, is it is a rate list push back or is it add? Now that's the kind of stuff that you're Googling. You're not like, well, what's an array list? You know, and, and you know, when they ask you, solve this problem, explain your reasoning, tell me about how this goes. Here's the marker right on the board. This is the, the code to solve it. You're not gonna be able to do it. And that degree, it's gonna be worthless. And it's your fault. So just think about it. All right, anyway, so that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.